We have a, a citizens committee that actually sets our compensation. They actually set the, the wages that were paid and they, and they also set the per diem. Uh, politically, it's always been much easier for them to, to keep that per diem up at the level of the, uh, that the uh, IRS will allow rather than, than increase the salary because salary is something that when they try to do that a lot of times the legislature rejects their work and, and gives it back. So, th and we, we have never done that on the per diem. Uh, you know, I think if you look at all of it as a compensation package, I think it's probably necessary to keep some of the people here that we have. I don't think some of them can afford to be here without it. Uh, so we're kind of in a catch-22 there. I, um, you know, if you're looking just at per diem, I think, uh, I think the per diem that we get is very generous. Uh, but on the other hand, if you look at the overall compensation package, I, I don't think it's all that generous. So, uh, you know, as far as abuses go, the 50-mile the rule is, is not anything that the Citizens Committee has put in. It's an IRS rule that says if you live uh, in excess of 50 miles, you're entitled to the higher per diem rate. And uh, so those people who are living within 50 miles and choose to have a second residence uh, in Ada County, I think, uh, I, I think there has been some abuse of that. I think uh, uh, certainly I don't want to put representatives who live within that 50 miles in a position where they have to have to drive back to their homes on a on a night when it's the snow is out there and the roads are icy but at the same time I think we have to be careful about how we how we handle uh, that per diem for those especially those that are within 50 miles